What is up, Scar Knight, bringing you Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke Part 21. In the last part, we went into Gravity Tunnel and explored that place in a massive hour and 15 minute video. I do apologize for that. I thought I timed it well because I look ahead with all the content creators and stuff. And I thought I paced it and perfectly timed everything. And like, you know, I even used repels and avoided trainers and then like... Even though I did phase every team to mention Grunt, I thought I, I I was gonna nail around an hour, but it turned out to be more. And I don't know if it's a reach for saying it, but like, I, I did waste five minutes talking about OBS, and then there's like another five minutes of me talking about, well, not, not talking about, but tending to a, like a, you know, like a funeral. But let's not talk about that. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, be sure to watch the last episode. Um, and, you know, if you're new, be sure to watch the first episode. But, yeah. But those two five minutes, that's ten minutes. And it would have been an hour and five minutes. So, I don't know. Is that a reason to say? I, I feel like I could have done that. But that's nothing new with the Scar Knight channel. You know, just extending it or cutting it short. It's always a choice when it comes to the Scar Knight channel on, on very uneven spaced episodes. But yeah, I do apologize for that. Unless you do like it, then I guess you're welcome, I suppose. But yeah, if you're excited for this episode, because we're going to be running into encounters and heading to the next city. Um, and there's also a, a gym in the next city, but we'll cross that bridge once we get there. If you're excited for all that, be sure to click on that like button. The like goal is 21 likes, so be sure to do that. And um, whenever we hit a like goal pretty much we will get an additional episode the following week just like how we have two this week so be sure to do that so like share fave and who knows if you tell a friend they might really like xenoverse as well so yeah um i do want to make a proposition for you guys though because having the 21 likes that's more of a long-term thing you know like i it, it'd be nice that uh, everybody's here and working together and stuff, but sometimes it, it takes a bit to catch up. You know, the last episode's an hour 15 minutes and not everybody's gonna watch it and everything. Not, not till maybe later to get caught up. So yeah, eventually when we do hit the like goal, that's when we get additional episodes. But for those that are already caught up, I think that the short-term like goal would be a lot better to deal with. But the thing is, I decided to make it like a really massive obstacle for you guys to overcome. So you guys are really gonna have to work together on this one, alright? So the like goal for this one, the secondary one, is gonna be one like! I know you guys could do it, I believe in you guys with all our efforts. I know we could go together and make this accomplished. Just like how we did in episode one, you know, we broke that and we beat that by tenfold i would say so we did wonderful on that so i know you guys could do it on here too so don't worry the 21 likes and then raising it one isn't going anywhere um but yeah we're gonna have the secondary like to experiment to see what works and what doesn't and i'm gonna recycle it like every 10 episodes so yeah so the secondary like was gonna have one additional one as well. I should probably say all that towards the end though. I, like for the secondary one so it's not like back to back and confusing. Some shit like that. Originally I was gonna say every 20 episodes but that would have been dumb because it's like oh episode 40 is 40 likes and the secondary like goes 20 likes would have been fucking dumb. So yeah every 10 so like if it's episode 31 you know there'll be 31 likes but then we'll reset the other secondary goal to one like if that makes sense so it's like a little bit more balance or some shit you know so yeah hopefully you guys like that plan i'm not sure i'm not gonna have like a third uh like goal so don't worry about that but yeah if you're looking forward to that then yeah let's go over and introduce the pokemon and yes have my team as fire types which like i said I look ahead and everything with the content creators and it's not recommended at this point of the game to have fire type Pokemon so yeah not only that half my team is still training and the other half it's uh yeah it's established PG uh, could barely take a hit so that's gonna be a struggle and I know what's coming up so I'm really gonna have to prepare 
but we'll cross that bridge once we get there as well. There's so many bridges to cross. But without further ado, let's go introduce the return of C4, C4. C4 is back for more. The Elect X, she is back, the Fire Type Mon. Holding the experience share, she's the silver lining in the light of the little stormy part of the last episode. Um, you know, it's been bittersweet, but mostly sweet. I would say she's just like a Sour Patch Kid, you know, she kind of looks like one. I could imagine it in gummy form and everything. So yeah, I very much missed her. I'm glad she's back. Special attack is down. Special defense is up with the Aftermath ability. Incinerate, Swift, Quick Attack, and Low Kick. Careful Nature, found on the Stardust Beach as an event at level 7 and it's alert to sounds. So glad that she's back. El Tigre, the shiny Toro Cat, the fire type Pokemon, Atsu Munching Orange, who needs no introduction, because if you don't know him, you probably don't watch enough Pokemon content. Defense is up, special attack is down with the Blaze ability, double kick, bite, and burn lick. Impish Nature found in the Milky Way City through the mystery gift for beating up Princess Vanellope Von Sweets from wreck -It Ralph. Had a faithful encounter at level 5 nonetheless, and it's alert to sounds as well. Starscream, the Decepticons, the Tri-Shout, aka the tri -Gia, the Fire Sound type, holding the Terrestrial Ring to look Lugia-esque in this form. Attack is up, and Special Defense is down with the Guts ability. Fire Punch, Jet Strike, Tackle, and Howl. Naughty Nature, found in the Nova Ranch as our starter Pokemon to level 5 with the Sturdy Body. Majora, she's gonna drop a moon on you, it's the Spear Tomb X, the Ghost Grass type, holding the Razor Claw. Defense is up, speed is down with the Leaf Guard ability, Shadow Sneak, Leash Seed, Mega Drain, Hypnosis. Relax Nature, find a Route 5 as our 1% mod, cause it is the 1%er, had a faithful encounter level 15, and somewhat of a clown. Yeah. And it is Retro Pichu, the Beta Pichu, the Vintage Pichu, 1080p, 3D, full resolution, full revolution, best of the best of them, Pichu. Electric type Mon, ready to fuck shit up. Holding the Quick Claw, which I don't think she needs, so I need to remember to take that off. So I'll be sure to do that at some point. Yeah, because like, the speed is the highest. Look at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, attack is down, special attack is up with the static ability. Thundershock Charm, Thunder Wave, and Sweet Kiss. Which actually, Sweet Kiss did some fucking work. Like, when we were trying to catch that Galvantula X, like, it did the job. So I might consider doing that again. Who knows? Mod Blah. Modest Nature, found in Space World, had a faith on counter level 20 and likes to fight. That girl. Invade the Manticore or the Manticore, Manticure, Manta Cure. I don't fucking know how to say that name, right? Very poison type. Um, yeah, I was thinking of workshopping some jingles, you know, with like maybe it should be two face or two body, you know, seeing that as two eyes that are different, like light blue and red, and you know, it's a kitty body on one side and it has a scorpion tail on the other. I don't know, I'm still thinking of it, unless it's just the jingle is just me mispronouncing the name. I'm not really sure. Attack is up, defense is down, poison point ability, poison tail assist, disarming voice, and attract. Lonely nature found on Milky Way City because there's grass outside. This is different as opposed to the mystery gift mon from Shiny Torah Cat. And had a faithful encounter level 18 nonetheless, and it's mischievous. Ooh. And yeah, that's all our Pokemon. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a visual aid of the half the Fire-type Pokemon, but I'm going to switch it back to where it originally was. But I mean, these are at least two more visual aids, you know, the trainees and then the veterans right here. Especially Retro Pichu over here, you know. Um, but yeah, it's so good that C4's back, I'm so happy. So yeah, we're gonna do the most training as we possibly can. But the reason I, you know, do the team review is because it could be the last time you'll see them. But that's not gonna happen. Without further ado though, because the last episode we went out here and um, we saved off the encounter because I was saving it for this episode. So let's go ahead and get ourselves an encounter. So let's go see what Pokemon we could get. Alright, let's go check what it is. Um, if it decides to show up. Bro, what the fuck dude? I know this Pokemon here. What the hell? Bro, what the fuck, man? What the... Do I have a repel or some shit? The hell's going on, dude? Oh, I actually did have a repel. Wow. Well, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, ignore that a little bit. Uh, Alright, let's get our first encounter. That was a bit embarrassing. We run into a bio barrel. Fuck. I didn't want to run into this thing. 
Well, shit. Okay, let's go catch this thing. I mean, some people will find it blasphemous of me saying that's a bite barrel. We'll catch it nonetheless. We'll catch it nonetheless, because, you know, I don't want to, uh... Like, run into another one or something, and, and like, I waste another encounter. But we'll catch it. You know, maybe I'll show some use. It's just that, like, by barrel isn't the Pokemon I necessarily... Well, not that I was looking for a Pokemon necessarily in general in this route, because I, I don't know it at the top of my head, like, what all the Pokemon are here or whatever. But, uh, yeah, we'll catch this thing. Um, let's go throw a regular Pokeball. One, two, three, and caught. No problem. Well, let's see what it has to offer. Maybe maybe this by barrel is the same by barrel from, like, Pokemon Rusty the series or something. Beaver Pokemon, number water type, 3 foot 3. I feel like it should be a bit taller, like maybe 4 feet tall or something. 69.4 pounds. I'm not gonna lie, it looks heavier than that. Like 140 or some shit, about. It makes its nest by damming streams with bark and mud. It is known as an industrious worker. It just sounds like a, a unionized, like, <laughs> Pokemon that was just unionized or something. Uh, but yeah, normal water type. Attack is up, special defense is down with unaware. Ignores the opposing Pokemon stats, changes. Alright, defense curl, roll out, headbutt, and hyper fang. Naughty nature and scatter things often, as beavers do. Alright. Let's go nickname. Um, I'll just... I'll just... I... What the fuck? I didn't mean to put space. Uh, I'll just put Chucky. I'll just do that. There's no other nickname I could think of that would be better than that. Alright, let's send this to the PC. I may not ever use this thing, I'm not really sure. I really doubt it. Like, there's no foster home or anything that I could use on that. Alright, um... Majora was barely hurt, but that's okay. I don't think I could avoid you. Shit. Do you smell it? Is it... Sulfur? I don't know what the fuck she's smelling, but I think it said the name was Serena? You're not Serena, you're not the X and Y girl. You look like her aunt. Aunt Serene, you can't fool me. Fucking, I don't know what the hell she's smelling either. The Pequeño, that's probably what it is actually, cause she said sulfur and everything. She, the Pequeño probably burned something and like all the gases and stuff. Um, I don't have any answers for fire type, so I guess just Starscream. So we'll just do that, fuck it. But yeah, we'll take care of that. Alright, let's go Jet Strike. And, uh... Last episode I mentioned that I was sick. You know, I was full-blown sick for two days and such. And I really hated the fact... Oh, there's a Whimsicott. Let's go switch back to C4. I really hated the fact that I sounded nasally last episode, for sure. But, like, my nose was so congested. I think I could take on you, because you're Grass Fairy type, and I don't think you have any super effective moves on me. Um, I mean, you look like you could learn Gust, probably. Or maybe I'm thinking that because you tend to learn Tailwind. It should be fine, yeah. But yeah, uh, when I mentioned all that, damn, it critted me. Uh, I also mentioned that what usually happens when it comes to me af after I get sick, I tend to cough. And that shit lasts for months. And that is basically what's happening now. I'm like, fine as can be. But yeah, this cough is around. So if I pause, or if I cut myself off in my own sentence, or if I stop moving when I was walking around, I'm more likely coughing. Damn it, it's still alive. Let's quick attack. But yeah, it's, uh, it's annoying, but it is what it is. Um... So I'll, I'll just have to deal with it. But damn, we're getting two levels from that. It's learning Flame Burst. I don't know how much power that is at the top of my head. Incinerate 60 power. This one's 60, this one's 40. This one depends on the weight. 70 power. The user attacks the target with the Bursting Flame. The Bursting Flame damages Pokemon next to the target as... Uh, it doesn't tell me 
I'm assuming it says as well because there's like little two points there. It looks like double L's. Um, let's just upgrade it with incinerate. That sounds good. I didn't realize how many fire moves are very like upgradable because that's literally the next level move. Uh, just getting 10 higher power. I could only smell defeat now. Fucking answering. What the hell? You don't smell defeat. You smell defeat. The feet, if anything. Wiki feet. I don't fucking know. She's saying she's smelling sulfur and shit, though. That's so weird. Um, I don't think this trainer is a trainer, actually. <laughs> I think it's just a regular kid, but let's heal our Pokemon nonetheless and do that. Um, we could switch our experience share over to El Tigre. Let's go take that. Give this to you. Um, I did all that backwards because as I said that I was trying to give an item, but that works, you know, but I, I was gonna do that anyway But yeah, with the experience share, let's go do that and yeah All right, but yeah, I don't think he's a trainer at all. Have you seen my Apopatas? Slash uh, or slash that says Timmy r slash Timmy Let me know Timmy yeah, I mean, I guess he would have been a trainer had he had that thing, but I did see a Hippopotas over at the Gravity Tunnel. It was like next to a Strength Boulder. So maybe that's the one he's talking about? I don't know. This man looks fucking possessed over here. What the heck? I must bring food to the master. What the hell? Alright, you do you, bro. What the heck was that about? Let's go down here. Soft Sand. Alright, that's a thing for ground type moves. Okay. I don't think I could avoid him. Well, shit. Let's just do it. Get ready for the strikeout. Alright, let's go take on you, Baseball Ace Sawyer. Sneasel. Alright, El Tigre! I think I could take on you. You, you know how to, you have double kick. I'm just a bit worried because Sneasels tend to hit pretty hard. You know, Sneasel and Weavile. But I don't think they learned anything crazy, I don't believe. So it should be good. Yeah, they did pretty good damage. Uh, let's just go with the Ember. Alright, there we go. Take you out, no problem. That's it for Sneasel. Level 21 for El Tigre. Glaceon. Yeah, let's stay in for the experience. We'll, we'll try to fight a little bit. I might have to end up healing, I'm sure. Don't underestimate Glaceon for sure, because I literally seen Glaceon in a Nuzlocke kill a Mewtwo with Mirror Coat. So that's something to be worried about for sure. It's very, very terrifying. Extremely terrifying. But I don't think it learns Mirror Coat to like the late 40s. I could be wrong. So I don't think it will have it at this point, basically, is what I'm saying. Let's do Ember nonetheless. Uh, I could do another one. Eesh. Oh, it flinched me. That's fucking sucks. Alright, let's go with the super potion. Ah, uh, it would have been good. It would have been fine. I don't think I would have won that. <clears throat> you better not flinch me again, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, Glaceon, you better not. It crit me, though. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> Bruh. It's still alive. What the fuck? Uh, let's go with another super potion. Yeah, I might as well, right? I, I, you never know when it's gonna crit again, because that, that was pretty close to my 22 HP. Yeah, because that was 24 HP. Yeah, I would have died. Okay, I'm glad I did that then. I avoided that. Kill this Glaceon. He just got lucky twice, man. A fucking flinch followed by a crit? Bruh. What the hell? Level 22. Oh, level 23, wow. See, I was right to uh, do that, because that... I'm, I'm telling you, don't underestimate that. Strike 3 for me. I didn't even notice the little Weedle symbol there on your jersey. That's pretty neat. I still don't know why you sound like that. Like, why, why do you sound like this? What the fuck? I was bluffing. I'm not a baseball ace, but I really like to. Hey, that was pretty good disguise though, you know? It's just your voice acting skills need some work. Certain areas are only available when you have your starter Pokemon with you. You should never leave it in a box. I'm not gonna eat it in a box. I'm not gonna eat it with the fox. It just sounds like green eggs and ham. But yeah, it's confirming about the whole uh, 
Pokemon starter thing that you have to have it throughout the whole game, you know. Uh, it's always a bit awkward when it comes to Nuzlocke's because the fact that you have to keep it around and when it dies, like, you know, someone like Shady Penguin, uh, would use a random number generator to kill off a different Pokemon. I don't necessarily like that because of the fact that it's just not fair to the other Pokemon that gets killed for no reason. So it's always weird to me, but Shady Penguin wasn't the only one that had that, um you know, happen to him. Like, there's somebody else that was doing that, and I also approached that as a question of the day. But yeah, God forbid that happens. I, I don't know what to do if it, that does, you know, if that were to happen. But hopefully it doesn't. But uh, yeah, I gave the experience share to Vey because she has yet to get it. But uh, speaking of the question of the day, today's question of the day is pertain to vintage Pokemon. Because, just to explain, you know, if anything, vintage Pokemon are actually rarer than shiny Pokemon. You know, there's a chance of you finding a shiny Pokemon in the wild. Same goes for the vintage Pokemon, like a certain fraction. I don't remember what fraction specifically, but, you know, sometimes you could find them at 1% and all that. And for vintage Pokemon, if you kill 500 of a mon that has a vintage variant available, then you're more likely uh, to find it. You, you boost your odds by doing that. I kind of try to do that a little bit by killing those Gyaradoses in the grinding montage. Like, I killed about 50 or 80 or so. And uh, I didn't really think about it till later, but I did kill a bunch of Oddishes uh, in the first grinding montage. So I killed about 30 to 50 of those. So. Yeah, because Oddish and Gyarados both have vintage variants. And, uh, yeah. And it's not like every day you could find a vintage Mon in the wild, and it's more likely not gonna happen in this series, but who knows? But the reason I'm bringing this up, just like shiny Pokemon, there is shiny claws where if you run into the wild, even if it isn't your first encounter and you run into a shiny Pokemon, you're able to catch it and you're able to use it. That's what shiny claws is. So the question of the day is, just like shiny claws, should there be a vintage clause? Cause I'm more so leaning towards yes, because like I said, I'm more likely not gonna find it in the wild, but in case I do, that's gonna be pretty insane, cause this is more harder to find than Spiritomb X who is with one percenter, you know, and all that. And to think that with all the other Pokemon too, you know, Pokemon that are like 12% to find or 13% to find, that factors in and it reduces the odds of you finding this vintage Mon and everything. And the whole reason I got vintage Pichu was because of the whole Space World event thing. So Xenoverse is like, hey, there's vintage Pokemon in this game, you know, here's a free one for you. So yeah, that's all it is. So I'm just presenting that as the question of the day to see what you guys have to say about that. But yeah, enough of me talking about that. That's what happens when I uh, get an episode way longer. It's me doing that shit. But just want to present that. But we're here at Ishtar City. And look, there's a pyramid down there. And there's all these berries all over the fucking place. They, they, they just left it all around. What the hell? Ishtar City, the star dancing in the wilderness. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and there's like one of those other guards that we saw earlier that looks possessed. I must bring food to the master. Huh, okay, he still says the same thing as the other one. Porygon machine, I assume that you are, yeah, you have, you're charging money, that's fucking annoying. I swear I saw a free one at the gravity tunnel, like I know I keep saying it, but like I literally saw footage of it. Like I don't know if it's taken away because of like, I don't know what the hell I'm stuck on. But maybe the update took it away, I'm not sure. This guy looks possessed, the fuck? I must bring food to the master. What the hell? I thought it was just the guards. I must bring food to the master. Yeah, because I thought the guards were just, like, doing their job. Like, you know, doing that for their boss or some shit. Well, I must bring food to the master. Well, I guess it's these people, too. I must bring food to the master. Bro, is this whole city like this? What the heck? With berries all around? I must bring food to the master. It's blocking the Pokemon Center. Oh, I see your game, Porygon Machine. Fucking Terrax, so you could have just done a free service and you had to block the one thing. You must bring food to the master. Bruh. Don't tell me. They they got don't tell me, dude. They got Hippopotas, hypnotize. 
but working for them picking up berries I cannot believe oh my gosh speak to me hippopotas hippo to the master did it just did it just talk English oh my god okay I don't know what's going on in this town I must bring food to the master I, I, who's the master? Who is this person? I must bring food to the master. Bro, all these people are possessed and Hippopotas are possessed and is talking in English. This dude has so much berries all over the place. The fuck is blocking the whole thing, dude. You must bring food to the master. Bro, you found it. Congrats, dude. Like, all this fruit's all around and I can't go past because this fat ass Petra Berry's out the way. Come on, Gio, you can just step over that. You don't, like, need to be polite about it. Just just walk over it. But maybe he doesn't want to get berry juice on his shoes or something. I don't know. I must bring food to the master. Oh, man. I, I, I don't know what the, like... I don't know what's going on out here. I must bring food to the master. Well, shit. There's this guy up here. One berry's blocking my path, by the way. He has a whole fortress of berries himself, just like the other guy. What the hell, dude? And uh, there's that. Okay. What about you? What do you have to say? Must bring food to the master. Well, like if he was gonna say anything different. But then I won't know what he's gonna say. What if it says something different? I'll never know. Bullshit. Hippo. To the master. Bro, he's not even facing me. What the heck? I wonder if, like, maybe Timmy's Pokemon is one of these Hippopotas and not the one in the Gravity Tunnel. I don't know if Timmy's Pokemon spoke English. Alright, well, we could get an encounter here, so let's go ahead and go for a fishing Pokemon. Can't use that here. What the fuck? Am I out of range or something? Hold on. What about here? Can't use that here. Bro. Maybe I'm not supposed to be fishing a at this area unless it has no Pokemon that's the merchants rug but no merchant that's a bit odd I must bring food to the master maybe the uh, merchants looking for fruit I mean it's down here it's down the stairs like I, I don't know I mean plus he sells fruit like he could have maybe he's that's what it is this fucking berry's floating Maybe he's being a cheapskate because he doesn't want to just give it for free or something. Uh, there's nothing on that rock. Let's try it one more time. Maybe this is a better spot. Can't use that here. Well, never mind then. I guess we can't get an encounter in Ishtar City. That sucks. The Oasis of, the oasis of Ishtar City is renowned for its miraculous spring. Uh, I am mistalking everything. Misspeaking. The oasis of Ishtar City is renowned for its miraculous springs. Their water is traded all over the region with the name of Fresh Water. Is there a chance that, like, one of the bottled of Fresh Waters has, like, grass inside? Because that'd be a bit gross. A tiny bit. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'll just assume that they know what they're doing as I see, like, a floating berry here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on in this place. Come on, lady, wake up, please. Sir, at least say something. But why is no one answering? Come on, break this hypnosis. No way. I absolutely must run for help. Ah. And who are you? i never seen you around here before. Hey, I'm Geo. It's gone. What a treat, you're not under this spell. I'm begging for your help, trainer. Something must have happened while I was out of town taking care of some business. It seems that a Pokemon has cast a spell over the whole oasis of Ishtar City. This was caused all by a Pokemon? What the fuck? And to make it even worse, the gym leader stuck inside her own gym because of that. Because of what? You didn't... They didn't say anything, what? Please, you're the only one who could help our city get rid of this plague. Would you like to help this soldier? Sure, but I don't know what you want me to do. Thank you very much. Don't waste any time. There must be a way to solve this tragedy. Huh. So this is all caused by a Pokemon possessing all these people to feed it berries? What the hell? I must bring food to the master. I must bring food to the master. Well, shit. I, th I mean... I mean, look at this sorcery. What the hell? I can't pass by here. Shit. 
There's another fat ass Petra Berry, damn it. Damn it, no, these three people. I won't know what they're gonna say. I'll never find out. Uh, this sucks. Oh crap, this guy again. Look at this black magic. What the fuck? What the fuck am I stuck on, bro? Ah, don't worry, sir. I'll help you out, okay? Don't worry, alright? Don't worry, sir. I'll help you out. Don't you panic, sir? Ah, I gotta help him soon. Alright. Well, before you cross this bridge, be sure to heal your Pokemon because some real shit is coming up. So whether it's going to the Pokemon Center all the way back before Gravity Tunnel, unless you want to bite the bullet and just pay off in the Porygon machine, I'm not going to do that unless I'm, like, you know, giving myself punishment for, you know, what you saw last episode. Or if it's a free service, that's the only reason I'm going to use Porygon machines. But, uh, yeah. Um, I personally like to stock up on items, so I, I'm very happy of using potions. But as another suggestion, uh, just in case you don't want to walk all the way back and, and stuff, like, I mean, I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but you know what I mean, if you don't want to go to the gravity tunnel and stuff, you know, just, just get potions or something, I don't know, maybe people don't mind using the Porygon machines, but... The second suggestion I was going to bring up is, for your whole team, Put your most comfortable Pokemon to your least comfortable Pokemon. It's my biggest suggestion that I could uh, say pretty much without spoiling stuff because, yeah, some shit's about to go down and this is the part where I should really consider preparing for my Pokemon. So I'm going to put Majora in the front, um, followed by... I was thinking of Retro, but I think I should put Starscream here and then Retro. And uh, I'll put El Tigre here, and then I'll put Vey in the end because you got, you know, your, your experience share and everything. But yeah, while I think about it, let's go take away the Quick Claw, because you won't be needing that because you're fast enough already. But Majora does need the Quick Claw, so let's do that. Um, yeah, so let's go all the way down here with the Quick Claw. There we go. And uh, I should give you an item nonetheless. I just don't know what. Because I haven't looked up on any of the items for a while, it feels like. Um, focus Band. I don't have a Focus Sash. But, I mean, because Focus Sash is guaranteed. This one has a chance to do it. That'd be wild if I end up pulling it off, but... I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Might as well give it the Focus Band. I don't see why not. I just, I don't know. And these other three Pokemon won't really see the light of day in this battle for sure. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm banking on. Um, something else? I hadn't been using TMs this whole fucking time. And I, sh I should really consider using it, but... I also, I, I didn't, I forgot to sell the pearls and mushrooms and stuff like that. And star piece, comet shard. The space fossil's here, by the way. I don't know why it's not in the key item pocket, but... Yeah, uh... There's also the two revives. It's, I, yeah, I, once I see the merchant, wherever the fuck he's at, I'm gonna sell it to him. But yeah, the TMs, I, I need to prepare a bit more than, than what I did. Um, let me think about it. There's Calm Mind. That's pretty good. Toxic. I might consider giving that to Pichu. Hail, Protect... Echoed voice. Uh, I mean, what's the power of echoed voice? Because I did have this. I mean, I probably should have gave it to Starscream. But yeah, let's check it out. Alright, so uh, Jet Strike 60 power. 40? Uh, it moves and it gets stronger every time, basically, is what it says. If this move is used every turn, it does greater damage. And no, I thought this shit would be stronger. I mean, it would, technically, but no, it's not worth it. Um, let's see, Power Punch. I think I was on the TMs before and I tried to teach Pichu this, but I didn't learn it. Um, Frost Breath, I really doubt anybody could learn it. But who knows? Yeah, not a single one. Dazzling Gleam, let's go take a look at that. Um... 
Ah, oh, damn, Majora can't learn it. That would have been nice. It makes sense that Majora would. Um, I kind of had a feeling they would know because it is fairy type because I would expect it to learn it naturally. But I might as well teach it here because it is X and Y mechanics and, you know, it's reu reusable TMs. So it should be fine. All right. Um, but that's all the TMs. Um... But I am considering Toxic. Let's go teach that to Pichu. I think that would be pretty good. Bro, every Pokemon but Pichu could learn it. That fucking sucks. Um, I mean, I like Majora's moveset. How it is. And as I said, I'm not going to use these three Pokemon in this battle. So I guess Starscream? But I don't know, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I can. Uh, tackle or how? Because I'm keeping Fire Punch and Jet Strike. Let's get rid of Tackle. <clears throat> Part of me wants to get rid of Hal, though, but I mean, I mean, I hadn't used it, but I know eventually I might. But that's all the preparations I could do um, for now. I mean, unless I could, I, I might as well just give them orange berries. I, w I wasn't gonna be like that guy, but I might as well, right? Let's just give a little bit of orange berry action. Of course, one HP is missing. Fuck it. All right, let us go forth now that our Pokemon are healed, prepared, and all that stuff. From most comfortable to least comfortable, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, damn, look at that giant pile of berries. Holy crap. Geo, those two soldiers are guarding the perpetrator of all this rumpus. I've already tried to face them, but they're too strong. That Pokemon must be amplifying their powers. Oh, shit, it's almost the size of... That's a different type of Gengar right there. What the hell? I was gonna say, it's almost the size of that pyramid. It uses psychic powers to force the citizens to hand all over the Oasis food supplies. We must act quickly, hurry up. Oh, someone is bringing me more food, finally. This fucking Gengar could talk, what the hell? Also, look down, bro. What do you mean, more food, finally? You have a whole pile that's the size, uh, almost at your platform, bro. What the fuck? Like, like, it's there. I don't know what he's talking about, food, finally. What the hell is he talking about? The berries of this world are so delicious, I can eat them forever, Giga! <laughs> hey, you two, hand over the food to my slaves, then hurry up and get some more. That's an order. Why, you two are not hypnotized by my power? How the hell is this possible? Why are you doing this to Star City? What did we do to deserve all this? Don't you dare talk to me like that, you filthy human! You're lucky to have a benevolent sovereign like yours truly, though. If these are your last prayers, I'll answer your questions before I hypnotize you. My royal limbs made a considerable effort to come this far, and I am so hungry now. At first, I kept an eye on the city in the shade, and by studying you, I learned your language. Yeah, I was gonna say, because you're clearly an X Pokemon, and, like, Elekid X doesn't know how to speak English. Unless it does know English. Does C4 know how to speak English? I'm starting to doubt myself. You stupid humans, as usual, didn't notice anything. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, it happened under Ishtar City's noses. But I have already said too much. Guards, bring them to me, quickly! We must bring food to the master. But well, we're not fucking food, are we? Geo, get ready. Oh, here we go, though. It is a surprise double battle. So I was trying to hint it without spoiling anything because I didn't want to say like, oh, it's a double battle and they got these Pokemon. Or I felt like a spoiler. So that's why I said just most comfortable to least comfortable because more likely in your second slot, you'll have a Pokemon that you could really rely on. So Ishtar Army, Atom, and... Mott. I don't know how to say that name, so, uh, yeah. So, Croconaw and Marini. Look at the background. Damn, it looks even bigger, uh, with the pile of berries right there. 
But yeah, Majora the Grass type and Starscream, you would think it's weak to a water Pokemon, which is actually neutral because Sound type is strong against water type. So that's why I have Starscream out. And that's why I was kind of considering Retro, but you know, having a double battle, they might jump Pichu and she's not good defensive wise. So that's the only thing I'm concerned about there. So, but yeah, I'm a Mega Drain, Croconaw, and Jet Strike, the Marini. It's good to see Marini in this game, though. You don't see much of that. But take you out, no problem. And yeah, uh, let's see. Ice Fang, oh crap, I forgot, because Shiny Croconaw has that too. Okay, well, we take out Croconaw nonetheless. That's pretty good. All right. So that's it for those Pokemon. And then Vay's leveling up. Giri Giri. We tried to catch it and we failed that capture. It's water electric type. I do know that much. Let's go with the Mega Drain and uh, hopefully by attacking it doubly we could kill it. Because electric type is super effective on sound and it could do some damage. That's a Quick Claw? Holy crap. That's really cool that the... Jet Strike still outspeeds Quick Claw, that's really dope. I mean, it might be priority, but who knows, maybe it outspeeds a Quick Attack. Majora's level 29 though, that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, Invade's level 23. Pretty neat. And it's Learning Charm, I don't want Charm, so no thanks. No thank you. But that's it for Atom and Mott. Master. Like, I feel like it's not Matt, because if it's Atom and Matt, it just feels like a regular name. Like, imagine if it's, like, Atom and Billy. Like, that's that's what it feels like. I don't know how to pronounce the double A in Mott. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's it for them. Too strong for us, my master. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. You inept fools, I'll do it myself! Oh, shit. He's going down the pyramid and down the pile of berries. I have no mercy for you, troublemakers! And that's it, this is the Gengar X. Psychic Dragon type. And I keep thinking he's Psychic Ground. I don't... It, I don't know. It's just... Oh, has a cackled. Um, it might be because it looks like Landers a little bit, and there's like desert around, that's why I keep thinking Psychic Ground type or some shit. I mean... Most people would say that, yeah, it looks like a dragon because it has the horns and the hair and the whiskers and the tail and all that stuff. But to me, it doesn't look all that dragon-esque. I don't know. There's something about it. Because he, he reminds me more of a genie and everything. He, he's like a djinn to a degree. But yeah, he is classified as the super genius Pokemon, which is why he's capable of speech. So that's what you should uh, watch out for because he's a very tough Pokemon. Level 30 with two bars. I'll do my best nonetheless. Let's go with uh, Hypnosis. It missed his Hypnosis, and I hit mine. Perfect. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, let's go with the Leech Seed and do our best. Okay, so Leech Seed it up, and it, it will dwindle it down. I, I need to switch at some point, uh, or at least get it to sleep as much as I can. But Shadow Sneak is super effective on the Psychic portion of his typings. And it should be... it does okay damage, it's not what I was hoping for, but I was really hoping to dwindle it down. Quick Claw moves first, not that it mattered. It's almost at the... down at the two bars. Oh, it's at one bar now, perfect. Shadow Sneak, it woke up. Sucker Punch? Oh, okay, it didn't do as nearly as much as I thought it'd do, okay, cool. That's good, that's really good. All right, Majora's doing such a great job. Let's go with the, the hypnosis. It misses hypnosis. I miss mine. No, please don't. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Hypnosis. Quick claw. Yes. Urgh, perfect. Get it done. Get it done, Majora. Good shit. Good shit, Majora. All right. Ready to fuck shit up. Go back to sleep. Super genius, my foot. Super, or er, shadow sneak. Yeah. Nice, we got one more bar, it woke up immediately. Fuck, Psychic! It fucking... Oh my god, it killed her. No! Majora, no! Ah, oh, fucking A. Okay. <sighs> Bruh. Okay, let's get out Retro, because you do have Sweet Kiss. Hopefully that does the trick. 
Sweet kiss it up. Is sucker punch sweet kiss? Um, I really, uh, I really want to. I, I want to paralyze it, but I think it's important that I toxic it. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna switch to vape, and I'll tell you why. Cause I have dazzling gleam, and it might go for dragon breath or something. Sucker punch. Okay, as long as it's confused, it should be good. And imagine how much experience Vey is gonna get. Let's go with Dazzling Gleam. It hurt itself. Perfect. Please do the mother of all damage. Oh, that's so close. Oh, I wish I had a fucking priority move right now. Please hit yourself. Oh, it did. Yes, it's just. Oh, nice. And don't worry about me trying to catch this thing, because if you try to throw a Pokeball, it wouldn't let you. Trust me on this. It's just part of the story. Holy crap. Level 24. Drop the Tood Tyrant. is completed. That can't be! How is it possible? I, the greatest of kings, Gengar X, losing to this nobody? King! <laughs> King! <laughs> Kid, you may have won the battle, but the war is still on. We'll meet again very soon, and I'll have my revenge! This pile of berries is coming with me, of course. Adieu. Oh, he's bidding us adieu. Oh, crap. That, that, that shit's all covered up. Okay. Hey, what happened? Joel, is that you? What happened and who is this foreigner? My dear comrades, his name is Gio. It's only thanks to his help if Ishtar City is now free. If Ishtar City is now free? Huh? My bad, I was just coughing a second ago. It's only thanks to his help that Ishtar is f now free. Yeah. It's only thanks to his help that Ishtar is free. It's now free from the biggest threat of it has ever seen. I this sentence is really fucking up my mind. It's only thanks to his help that Ishtar is now free from the biggest threat it has ever seen. A mysterious Pokemon uses psychic powers to bewitch all of you. It forced you to bring in more and more food, but thanks to Geo, everything worked out for the best. Oh my, Joel! I see we have visitors. Oh, hello. I am Nufar, the queen of Ishtar City. And you, kid, who are you? Your majesty, you are well then. I was worried for you. Thanks for caring, Joel. So, who is this youngster? His name is Geo, my lady. We must thank him for making the city safe and sound. Geo, huh? That Gengar X cut out every exit from my gym with a huge pile of fruit. Good things you, uh, yeah. <laughs> I misread that, my bad. Good thing you were there, ready to take action. Geo, now your Pokemon deserves a little rest at the Pokemon Center. We will continue our discussion later to the north of Ishtar City's gate. My soldiers, you can now return to your duties. Help our citizens recover from this shock. Aye, your majesty. Alright. Geo, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your help. It's not much, but please accept this. We got a max revive, that's kind of... I mean, like, what am I gonna do with that? Huh, Joel? And yes, I pronounce it Joel, cause Joel is kind of... I don't know. And when I was growing up in elementary school, that's how... Uh, my friend pronounced his own name, is Joel. So yeah. I like the same of Joel better than Joel anyway. So yeah. And that's it. We saved the day. Alright, but unfortunately we did have a casualty and it's healed in our party, but I'm gonna try to like take care of that. But look at all the people back to normal because we did all this. Nice. So let us go to the Pokemon Center. We will talk to everybody in the next episode. So we'll be sure to do that. But yeah. It's unfortunate, dude, that they just end up passing away. I really don't even know who the fuck else to put in the team, but I'll think about it. 
That was such a good effort. You did such a good job, Majora. I will miss you so much. I really will. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I was teasing on the fact that, like, you know, should we get a full fire-type team? That's similar to how I said about the ghost-type Pokemon and such. Um, you know, along with Moon Sand and all that. Um, I mean, that's a good idea, right? Moon Sand has water compaction and stuff. That's pretty good. Maybe I should bring Moon Sand back. Is it that time? That's that sounds like a good idea to me because I was considering putting Peppa Kenyo on the team and I have four Pokemon fire types when uh, you know the guards had water types so it's kind of a hint hint nudge nudge on something but uh yeah I mean I think we should just do it let's bring back Moonsan in the team and then let's just call it a day so if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button and, so it, and uh, blah, I messed up already. And if you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. If you like playing video games, it, uh, oh, I'm messing up everything. I played the video games, and if you like playing video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, in the next episode, we are gonna go explore the town now that it's not possessed, and then speak to Nufar, the city's gym leader, and then we'll see what she has to say, because it seemed very important. So we shall see in the next episode. So yeah, with that being said, white tigers and dragons to you, and you've been scarred by the night. I'm out. Don't be fine. The monsters are living under your bed, cause they are the voices in your head.